And we have got this coming up this Thursday a threat of more severe weather, just like we have every Thursday for the Thursday last Thursday into Friday, and unfortunately, that system is going to continue tracking east. And I think some spots that were hit over the weekend and late last week are going to see another round of severe weather. So uh, it's this time of year, and you know, it just goes to show you you have to have a plan in place and make sure you're paying attention to the forecast days out. We'll keep you updated. We've already issued the weather alert. And uh, it's likely going to be an active day, I think, particularly on Friday. Now, what we've got going on locally here right now, a mix of sun and clouds. So we've got some high, thin clouds, and then you've got uh, a layer of mid to low level clouds, but not everyone's seeing that. So as we look at current conditions, you see some spots with sunshine, particularly to the south and east. Tyler, Palestine, Corsicana, sunny to mostly sunny skies, and that's where temperatures are warmest. But we're warming up in Collin County and Denton County, 55 degrees right now. Fort Worth sitting at 54 and Dallas Love Field up to 58. So future cast this afternoon. I do think most of us are dry through about three o'clock, but we'll watch to the south and to the west at that point to see if we get a little bit of rain and storm activity to move in. A couple of isolated storms will be possible. I am not expecting severe weather, but not out of the question that we could have some rumbles of thunder, maybe a few lightning strikes as well, uh, and maybe some brief heavy rain just coinciding into the Metroplex when a lot of people are out on the road. So just make sure if it's raining, give yourself a little bit of extra time. I think rain chances are really going to be best to the south of I-20 tonight. That's where a stalled front is. And then into tomorrow morning, they have a few isolated showers, but uh, this particular first alert future cast just showing partly cloudy skies. So it's cooler and breezy tomorrow, but we've got that weather alert for Thursday and Friday with severe storms possible. So let's talk about it. I know I showed you this last Last Friday, and of course, uh, Brittany, Dimitris, Jeff, all showing you this over the weekend. We've got parts of North Texas under this uh, slight risk for severe storms on Thursday. We widen out the view, though, uh, and you can see this stretches into Oklahoma, up into Kansas. This is a conditional threat. So you remember last week how we had our weather alert on Thursday, but we said it's a conditional threat. I think this is a similar situation. We get to Friday. This is when it's more likely that we'll have severe storms moving through North Texas with damaging winds, large hail. Even isolated tornadoes possible. You've got this level two risk. It includes all of the Metroplex, but again, this is for Friday. Timing still a little uncertain. We're going to have a better grasp on that as we get closer to Friday. So definitely make sure you stay tuned. But this is just kind of your your alert right now. We've got active weather on the way for the second half of the week. So you want to make sure that you have a plan in place. You and your family know how to get watches and warnings and know where to go if uh, a warning or a watch is issued for your area, Karen. Aaron, thank you very much.